I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to switch from sitting to standing and back again while working away at my computer. This type of flexibility usually comes with a big price tag, but IKEA managed to produce an inexpensive solution that uses a manual crank so you can adjust the desk from 70 to 120 centimeters tall. The cranking action to adjust the height is pretty straightforward. Turn clockwise to move down and counter to move up. And you can definitely feel the weight of the desk while cranking, but it's never overwhelming. Cranking from the bottom to the top position does take just over 90 spins, so I do hesitate to switch positions when I'm really lazy, but I usually don't mind the process. Overall, my experience these last couple weeks has been great with this desk. I think it looks great, it's well designed, and it's an amazing price for a height adjustable desk. But I do have a couple concerns about the desk that aren't deal breakers for me, but you should probably consider before getting this desk yourself. So first let's address that wobble. Yes there is a little bit of wobble at the higher heights, and it's most noticeable when you're cranking your desk up and down, but it's never taken away from my experience with a desk. I wouldn't recommend you place any heavy, unstable objects on the desk, but for the typical office or computer setup, it's perfectly fine, and honestly, I've never noticed it. I will say that I can imagine in the future, I may need to tighten a screw here or there to minimize the wobble, as you'll often find that the demo models at IKEA have had their screws loosened over time, but I haven't had that issue myself yet. Next up is the concern with balance. The tabletop is essentially balanced by only two legs, rather than four. This means that the table is a lot more sensitive to weight distribution to keep its balance, specifically the weight from the front to the back. With my setup, I have about 40 pounds of weight just from my monitors on the back side of the table, and this causes the top to lean slightly back. It's not to the point where I feel like my setup's unsafe, but it's just something to keep in mind if you plan on putting a significant amount of weight that can't be distributed across the desk. My last and biggest concern with the desk is the crank. Not the cranking action to adjust the height of the table, but the crank bar itself. For one, the handle doesn't rotate very freely. I don't know if this is just something wrong with my crank, but it's more difficult for me to turn this handle than it is to crank up my table. The second thing that's more concerning to me is the smoothness of taking the bar out of the lock position. This process is not smooth at all, even brand new out of the box. If you aren't careful, it will just get worse and is a source of damage. I didn't realize at first that I was ruining my crank bar by aggressively pulling it when it wasn't coming out, and you can see that my bar has developed a lot of scratches and nicks because of this flaw. So now that I know about this flaw, I have to be a lot more conscious about pulling it out in just the right angle, or I'll just leave it extended out all the time. I can confirm that the same flaw exists on the demo units at my local IKEA, as they are even more heavily abused or just broken at the store. I did reach out to IKEA about this, and they informed me that there is a minor new accessory to the crank bar, and they'll be sending me a replacement, but I'm not entirely sure how much this new change will help, but I'll let you know once I get it. But for now, as long as I'm aware of the problem, I can avoid further damage to my table, by just being a little bit more careful when I'm pulling the bar out. So that's pretty much my review of the IKEA Skarsta desk, and despite I spent most of this video going over its flaws, I still think it's a great desk. It feels solid, I enjoy the flexibility of switching from sitting to standing and back again, and all of that without having to pay an arm and a leg in price. So thanks for watching this review, and if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them. But this is how my desk currently looks fully loaded with my computer setup. I ended up switching over to the larger 160cm length desk, and I'm really liking the monitor stand that I made that maximizes the space on my desk. You can check out my other video on how I made that if you're interested in it. My cable management still needs a little bit of work, and you'll definitely need to make sure that yours are long enough so you can fully extend your desk. My next step for the office setup is to add a couple other pieces of furniture like the IKEA Alex cabinet 
that I think will match quite nicely with this whole setup, but that's for another video, I'll see you next time. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to switch from sitting to standing and back again while working away at my computer. This type of flexibility usually comes with a big price tag, but IKEA managed to produce an inexpensive solution that uses a manual crank so you can adjust the desk from 70 to 120 centimeters tall.